Humans have been exploring the cosmos in its mysteries ever since they first evolved. Humanity's restless curiosity has always driven its exploration efforts further and further into space. It was only out of pure curiosity, a will to discover more about the universe, that they were able to learn the truth about their own planet. The development of technology has allowed us to observe light that originally flowed from a distant source. Now, 20 years after the launch of the Hubble Space Telescope, even the faintest, most distant galaxies may be seen in their full glory. The most modern and most powerful infrared observatory from NASA was just launched. The ambitious space project finally lifted off from the European Space Board launch facility in French Guiana on December 25, 2021. After a long sequence of delays, a European Space Agency Ariane 5 rocket launched it into space to investigate the secrets of the cosmos. Cost estimates for JWST range roughly from $500 million when the project was first proposed in 1996 to roughly $10 billion in 2017. James Webb, an early NASA administrator, is honored for his role in developing the Apollo program in the 1960s with the naming of a telescope in his honor. In today's video, we will take a quick look into the James Webb Telescope and the, all the mysteries that are floating around in the cosmos. We came through an insane discovery that will later be shown in this video, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. It would mean a lot if you all smashed that like and subscribe button, helps us out a ton on YouTube with the algorithm. Anyways, let's get right into the video. Just after deployment of the James Webb Space Telescope, it started bursting through all kinds of boundaries. A team of astronomers said that Webb has now caught the oldest galaxy ever observed. That galaxy, known as Glass EZ13, existed when the universe was only 300 million years old. This galaxy is 13.5 billion years old, and experts believe it is the oldest galaxy ever discovered. The previous record was set by the Hubble Space Telescope, which discovered Gein's 11 in 2016. It is 13.4 billion light years away. This is incredible to us. If you all think about it, we're on this planet for a short time. According to NASA, Gens 11 originated when the cosmos was just 400 million years old. All of these previously unseen pictures of the universe's galaxies are the result of the Webb Telescope's very powerful near-infrared sensor. As per NASA, the Webb Telescope can peek further back and identify galaxies as far back as the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang allowing scientists to learn more about galaxy evolution throughout the universe's history. The James Webb Space Telescope reportedly caught the oldest recordable galaxy ever viewed. The galaxy's designation is GNS13, and it originated almost 300 million years after the Big Bang. The James Webb Space Telescope is an infrared observatory in orbit. It is more powerful, sensitive, and efficient than the Hubble Space Telescope. It has a wider wavelength coverage, the capacity to detect different wavelengths allows the web to delve considerably deeply into the early days of time. Presently, the Webb Telescope has enabled scientists to investigate the hitherto unknown origin of the earliest galaxies. The extraordinary capacity of James Webb's telescope to gaze into dust clouds wherever stars and planetary systems are emerging now. The primary mirror on the telescope is divided into 18 parts. The mirrors are extendable and gold-plated. Merrily created this design so that the telescopes can comfortably fit inside the rocket. These mirrors are stretched into space to absorb light after the scope reaches its assigned orbit. Webb's telescope would constantly be pointing toward the sun. The telescope features a solar panel on the hot side that is always receiving sunlight for electricity. The Webb has a five-layer retractable sunscreen. The sunscreen reduces solar heat by more than a million times. The detectors in the mounted cameras and spectrometers are extremely sensitive. Chief Engineer Charlie Atkinson said the telescope's camera's aiming precision is similar to firing a bullet from Washington and striking a coin on the top of a skyscraper in Los Angeles. The James Webb Space Telescope, informally known as a Webb, is largely controlled by NASA. NASA handles the majority of the financing, with partners including the European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency. The James Webb Space Telescope is positioned farther away from the Earth than Hubble. Hubble orbits the Earth at around 570 kilometers above the surface. The Webb Telescope was aimed at the Lagrange point, 
which is located between the Earth and the Sun. At the Lagrange point, the Webb telescope circles the Earth and Sun. The advantage of this place is that the gravitational attraction between the Earth and the Sun is balanced, allowing the telescope to stay there comfortably and for a longer amount of time. The Webb telescope is also investigating the atmospheres of planets, both within and outside our solar system. The first image from the telescope was unveiled by US President Joe Biden on July 11, 2022. It was a member of the galactic cluster SM ACS0723. This galaxy cluster formed 4.6 billion years ago, according to NASA. The James Webb Space Telescope can also seek for signs of life on planets in our own galaxy by exploring their atmospheres. The telescope's scientific goals include looking for nearby exoplanets, studying the first stars, observing supermassive black holes, and looking for signs of cold dark matter. It will be used to study newborn galaxies and answer concerns about how galaxies grow, as well as peer through dust clouds to observe star formation, but it will also look much closer to home. Inside our solar system, Mars, Pluto, and even some asteroids and comets are being researched. The reason no one has witnessed the epoch of galaxy formation is that the old starlight has become stretched after traveling to us for billions of years through the expanding fabric of space. The ultraviolet invisible light released by the galaxy's furthest stars extends to nearly 20 times longer wavelengths on the voyage here. This turns visible light to infrared radiation, but infrared light is what we call heat, the same heat that our bodies, the atmosphere, and the ground beneath our feet emit. This is what distinguishes the Webb scope from its predecessor, Hubble. The light from distant galaxies and stars is rapidly expanding the universe. It has been extended to the point where it is now in the infrared spectrum. As a result, only an infrared-focused telescope is capable of peering into uncharted galaxies. Webb uses mirrors that catch six times as much light than Hubble. Images with a 15-fold larger field of view can be captured by the cameras. Hubble circles the Earth at a height of 340 miles. Webb will be positioned in space roughly four times farther away from the Earth and Moon for optimal light capture. The photos captured by James Webb's telescope are numerous and intriguing. This gave us access to the past. One of the most well-known telescope discoveries is the Cosmic Cliffs. This is a landscape of mountains and valleys speckled with space stars. The camera also captured images of the Southern Ring Nebula. It's a star shrouded in dust. It is approximately 2,500 light years away. The James Webb Space Telescope of NASA has created the most comprehensive infrared image of the distant universe to date. This image of galaxy cluster SM ACS0723, known as Webb's first deep field, is densely packed with information. Thousands more galaxies, including the weakest infrared galaxies yet observed, have appeared for the first time in Webb's view. This fragment of the huge universe takes up about the size of a grain of sound, held at arm's length by someone on the ground. Stephen's quintet is revealed in a new light by the Webb Space Telescope. This massive mosaic, which covers nearly one-fifth of the Moon's diameter, is Webb's greatest image to far. It has about 150 million pixels and is made up of nearly 1,000 different image files. The web data provides new insights into how galactic interactions may have influenced galaxy evolution in the early cosmos. With its excellent infrared vision and exceptionally high spatial resolution, Webb reveals hitherto unseen characteristics in this galaxy group. According to Greg Robinson, Webb Program Director at NASA headquarters, the Webb telescope's images and data will have a tremendous impact on our understanding of the universe and will inspire us to dream big. The James Webb Space Telescope is orbiting around O2, a Lagrangian point on the far side of the Earth from the Sun. In this position, as the Earth revolves around the star, JWST will move practically in lockstep with it. It is always around 1 million miles distant from us, no matter where the Earth is on its orbit around the Sun. The path it travels around O2 is actually quite wide, extending nearly the distance between the Earth and the Moon, but the observatory can't stay there indefinitely without some assistance. O2 is classified as pseudo-stable. These objects will tend to drift away from this position in one direction. As a result, JWST will have to make minor changes to its path 
during the course of its existence. Every 20 days or so, the telescope's thrusters will fire for two to three minutes at a time to keep it on course in its orbit. These changes will eventually influence how long JWST can be operational in space. The observatory's mission will terminate when the propellant runs out in the next 10 to 20 years. The GANS-11 galaxy was the farthest distant galaxy ever spotted by the Hubble Space Telescope. When the universe was only 400 million years old, this galaxy emerged. The Webb Telescope broke this record by capturing an even distant galaxy, GANS-13. This galaxy is even more recent than GANS-11. According to physicists, the surface of the most recent scattering is 46 billion light years away. This is the furthest distant galaxy we can see. It is recognized to be the very first dispersion of light and the last we can notice, as the name implies. This is the boundary of the observable cosmos. But is it the edge of the world? No, it does not. The James Webb Space Telescope has detected these strong galaxy candidates at great distances. The next question is how far back in time the James Webb Telescope can view and whether it will be adequate to discover the very first galaxies that existed possibly only 100 million years after the Big Bang. Such a discovery would demand a lot of chance because it would rely on lucky gravitational lensing to bring primordial galaxies into view. The James Webb Space Telescope is more than a telescope. It is a time machine that will transport us back to the beginning of the cosmos. Some of the questions these galaxies will answer have yet to be posed. Well, I think we're nearing the end of this video. We hope you all enjoyed that glimpse into today's video. What were your impressions? We'd love to hear your input on this matter, and we'll be responding to a lot of your comments. Before we wrap up, it would mean the world to us if you all pounded the like and subscribe button. Our hearts are always full from your care, enthusiasm, and support. I guess it's farewells for now. Till the next video drop, you all take care. <laughs>